Welcome to my channel, Ken here. Today let's take a look at this dual rack pedal from TC Electronics. Let's go! Here's the dual rack TC electronic box. Manual. And Comes with the USB cable. And some pads. And a sticker. Here's the dual rack. It has the usual suspects here. Bass, mid, treble, gain, output, and this tight knob here. As well as two buttons to switch. So here's clean. And then you can boost the clean. And here's the overdrive channel and boost it. Everything's at noon. I'll explain this uh, level control a little bit later in the video, but here we go. Playing a my Jackson King V with Fishman Fluence in it. I'm gonna drop D. All right, let's try and, and give it a little more mids here and bass. And if you turn it. This way, you let more of the low end through. So it's running DI here. Essentially, it, you know, there's a cab on it and a power amp uh, simulation in it. So, and a, a cab IR. <laughs> I'll take the boost off. I'm 
I don't think anybody would buy this thing if they wanted a clean sound for the clean sound. <laughs> On the back here, <clears throat> there's a uh, a presence switch. So it's set to about 10 o'clock, like I would on a normal dual rack. Let's uh, tighten it up even more, give it some more low end and a little more gain. Okay. A little more gain. And tighten it up even more. Well, we'll try and see what it's with much lower gain here. As you notice, there's a play between this tight and the bass. Something that I would play with a lot using this thing. This sits a little bit higher than on a regular on a on the actual amp uh, in frequency. Well, this dual rack by TC is uh, supposedly modeled, and at least that's what it says in the manual, that it's modeled after a 1995 dual rectifier Rev G. Well, I have one here, and it's early 95, late 94, very early serial number of the Rev Gs. This pedal now is running into a 9090 Simon class by um same IRs by Bogren and same signal chain before it. So I'm literally switching on a cab switcher by KG and the only thing is I'm running a Tube Screamer 808 on the real amp and here I'm gonna boost it. So here's the real amp. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to switch over to this. So it's not quite right. Thank <laughs> you. 
I've tried for a while to get get it to sound the same on this setup and you know you can get the vibe of it but it but when I'm running it DI it's a lot close up to be honest with you although the cab IR is not the same so that will be a massive variable so what do I think about this guy well it definitely gets the flavor of an older dual rectifier especially the low end uh, even maybe the mid-range think it works better as a di device than it does through an amp and here's why because this level thing here it seems like to me it's in between everything it's not really an amp out impedance wise so the amp is not quite reacting right to it to me it's fine for line out only it's minus 10 db so it doesn't work with a plus four or like a fully professional studio so it really should get boosted now i didn't do it in the video but i did test it on just going line out into a mic pre in to get the level right but in this video i just used it the, the way it is the other thing is uh this presence thing here i can't get my finger in there i, I need to use a screwdriver it works flawlessly you know there was a firmware update i updated no problem just download it and, up, and put the USB cable in and that was that. However, it seems a little old fashioned that USB thing maybe. But other than that, this tight uh, knob is very, very useful. And above all else, the price is incredible. Under $200, it's, you get a lot of value for the money here. Uh, this is the sound that you want, the dual rectifier sound. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and until next time take care.